year. Oh yeah, and well, I, I could say, understand that because that you know, <laughs> no, no, I, I, I can I, understand I that. I, I, I was, uh, like, and I wouldn't mm-hmm. even call it dating, but you know, mostly talking on the phone to a guy. He was a minister, and he lived in L.A., and he invited me to come out to his anniversary, his pastor's <laughs> anniversary. So I get there, I invite. I had an aunt who lived in L.A., so you know, I had. She came with me to church, and we're just sitting there. Picture first lady me <laughs> to stand up, and he, you know, and no. I'm thinking, okay, where's he about? And he asked the church to pray for us, <gasps> and I'm like, huh? What us? And, and so after we church, even made it people us. come up, <laughs> women, they all excited. Oh, I can tell you where to get your hair done, and I can tell oh you where. And I'm goodness. thinking, what just <laughs> happened here? <laughs> and he re- he revoked at your ticket going home too, didn't he? No, he you're didn't. Like, but you're I, like, <laughs> what happened to my ticket? I can't go home. <laughs> my aunt said I was just looking at the look on your face. <laughs> I can only imagine. Wow. <laughs> now you know that they say pray changes thing. That brother was well, praying. Was he praying. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Is he married now? <laughs> well, married and divorced. Uh-huh. Uh, well, I wonder why. See, well, let's talk flags. about some of those red well, flags then. Let's yeah. elaborate more, Danae, on some of the top three red flags. Uh, some of the red flags, especially around cheating and dealing with, okay, uh, just when they say, okay, th- they're going to be somewhere and they're not there. So they're lying to you. You can't trust them. Or exes being involved. As far as with their ex, now don't get me wrong, you know, I do believe in some cases you still can remain friends, you know, with an ex. They're few and far in between now, but they actually are are (laughs) there. But in those cases there, you know, those are red flags, perhaps. You know, there are still some things that are going on. Another red flag is I'm all for, you know, men doing things for their mother and being accommodating there, but there is a such thing as the mama's boy. And I've seen in, you know, some of my friends' relationships there where they're putting their mother uh-huh. before their wife. And that's not what the scripture says when right. you all, you know, become one flesh uh-huh. pretty much there. So those, you know, are, again, some red flags mm-hmm. as well. And if she's an understanding mother, she should know her place. Mm-hmm. That's a whole another story. Nah, I agree right? with you on that. <laughs> Look, don't get me started on that nother, one, okay? Okay, Look. that's a whole other show. <laughs> so, yes, so, Talia, what's your red flags? Well, you know what? I got a bunch of them. I'm going to... I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> we'll have I'm going to narrow them down, though. But one that just came to mind as we were discussing that situation that I was telling you about before was with that person, a red flag, and this was many years ago, but a red flag for me with this person where I never took him seriously was the company he kept. Some of the people who were friends of his were into things, and you knew good and well what they were doing. Mm. But if it came up, he would defend them. Well, how do you know? Did you see it? Did, how do you know? It's like, okay, mm-hmm. so that means you do it too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that was a red flag to me. So the company they keep. Also, if, uh, you know, somebody who tries to be controlling or manipulative, I've never experienced that personally, but I know a lot of women have dealt with men who are controlling and manipulative. Men who don't want you, and I'm, I'm, you know what, and I apologize, because when I say men, I am a woman, so that's why I'm saying it that way, yeah, but it's people. Sure, yeah, it's sure. not, when, I don't mean it just, <laughs> just for men, but if a person wants to be your whole life, they don't want you to have other friends outside of them, they want to monopolize mm-hmm. all your time, they, they don't seem to have other friends, that's a red flag to me. I think everybody should be well-rounded, and everybody has... You know, I think people have to agree how much time they want to spend together and how much time they are willing, to, they want to spend with their other, their friends, their family, and other people like that. So some of those are my red flags. Oh, yeah. she's so cute with it. So, you know, <laughs> we're about to get ready to go in a few minutes uh, to our um, um, sermonette. We're going to go into in between break here. I definitely want you all to take some time to listen to this sermon. Uh, it's not... You know, uh, what is the sermon again, baby? I, I didn't lost my taking my your relationship to the stream again. Yeah, and part this is part two. two. And so this is a uh, Reverend Doctor Felder and uh, New Faith Baptist Church International. I really think you're gonna like this portion because it talks a little bit about you know faith and relationships and how you should you know develop relationships and understand the relationships as well. And so we're about to take a about an eight minute break. Uh, you're gonna listen to this and then we're gonna come back with deal breakers. So, Jonathan, do your thing, man, and let that thing roll. You'll be right back with the Let's Stay Together show. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My name is Reverend Dr. Trinell D. Felder, and I am the senior pastor of New Faith Baptist Church. Hi, I'm Reverend Alexis Felder, the First Lady of New Faith Baptist Church. Here at New Faith, we are a mighty people of faith who seek the heart of God. Through our worship, our witness, and sharing the love of Christ, God's Son, with the entire world. We are a body that embraces the Bible as the authoritative and infallible Word of God. Such truth allows and encourages us to create relevant and creative worship that intentionally creates an environment for authentic relationships, 
transformational discipleship and empowered evangelism, which is encouraged by spiritual leadership. New Faith has such a faith-filled environment that evokes a commitment to children, youth, families, and kingdom keeping. The message that you are about to partake in, we are confident that it is a message delivered straight from the heart of God to you for such a time as this. God wants to open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessings that you and I don't have enough room to receive it. Our prayer is that you will open your hearts, your minds, and your spirits to allow this word to minister to your soul. From a place of envy, because then you're trying to keep me from going to the next. I just thought I would tell you the truth since you think you're all that. No, the problem is you don't know you all that, and you're trying to tell me something to cut me down. Tell your neighbor, tell me the truth, but tell it from a real place. Hear me, the absence of truth enslaves, it suffocates, it cripples, and it kills. And Jesus said, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Not set you free. You got to make yourself free by walking in truth. Tell your neighbor, I'm going to tell the truth. See, too, too many of us act like people can't handle the truth. But can I tell you what the real deal is? The reality is most of us can't handle people's reaction to the truth. Oh, what you talking about? We afraid we going to offend somebody and they going to back up off us. That's my boy. I don't want to tell them the truth. I've been married. We happy now. I mean, no, you ain't. You got a false peace because you live in a lie. And now that you scared they're going to blow up and get, get angry and start tripping. You know what? Let them blow up because your liberty is worth them getting mad for a season for you to have the other 20 years of your marriage being out. I'm trying to help somebody up in here. The Bible says, speak the truth in love so that we'll all in all things grow up into him who is the head. Look here. I don't want to be on kindergarten level in my relationship when I should be in graduate study level, level in my relationship. If you've been married more than two years, you ought to have worked out quite a few quirks that are going to speak the truth to your neighbor in love. Let them get mad. You scared they're going to blow up. Come on, won't you talk to me? No, no, no. Just, I'm, I'm going to just leave that alone because they get to trip and they go up. Don't you understand that's how they keep you in prison? If they make you afraid of their reaction, then they can keep doing what they're doing and treat you like a dog and tell you where to pee on the paper and you're scared to even scratch the ass to go outside. I wish I had somebody up in here who was ready to be free up in this camp who, 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 will, who will stand the explosion because sometimes a good explosion is used for construction. You got to tear down some stuff before you can build a new skyscraper. And if you're too afraid to blow up something, you ain't ready to go to another level. And the devil to hell with him. I'm ready for you to have a heaven on earth relationship and not looking like you got one. Oh, let your dog help you. Let him get mad. Because you mad. They driving you mad because you got stuff you want to say, but forget it then. Go on and be angry. Tell you, neighbor, it's all right to be angry. Some of y'all wouldn't even turn because you're trying to be Christian. I don't know. If I don't know. I just, they don't seem right. Look at verse 26. In your anger, you're going to have it. Do not sin. Paul, Paul concedes to the reality, queen, that you gonna get angry. Come on. If somebody tells you, I don't get angry, you need to, for me, tell them you lying. And tell them, and you a liar. <laughs> Uh, because if you come on if you in love with anybody you gonna get angry if you value somebody you gonna get angry y'all don't hear me if, if you have children you gonna get angry sometime if you if you've been married more than three days it only take three days you gonna get angry y'all was cool when you were dating as soon as you got married who are you nah, nah, you you go to another level especially if they live in beneath their privileges you you can't come to church and not get angry sometime you can't even have bible study you can't come to choir rehearsal and somebody don't make you mad sometime We at church, I can't believe it's people in church. 
Even Jesus got angry. Remember when Jesus, when Jesus was going, he was turning over tables, took out the cat of nine tails, start whipping folk tail because they didn't make such. Even Jesus got angry. And do I have anyone who's better than Jesus? Lift your hands, show your hands, all who are better than Jesus, all. In the King James, it says, be angry, but sin not. Uh, now, this text ain't telling you to, to, to be angry, ain't commanding you to be angry, but it's acknowledging you're going to get angry. And you see, in part, we walk in falsehood when people ask you, you all right? Yeah. Liar. What's wrong? None. So you simmer into your passive, aggressive mode of civil, sinister, suburban operations where you cut a joker and they don't know they've been cut. Oh, y'all ain't hear me. You want to put something in they suit, but you don't do it because you're scared to go to jail. You, cause That's a dangerous person to be married to. Holler at me. Tell me something. Let me know where you are on the radar because if you start smiling, it's all right. You hungry? Oh, heck to the no. I, I, uh -uh. I'm fasting. <laughs> Says, in your anger, sin not. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. In other words, put a time limit on your anger. Tap your neighbor like it's a bell. Say, bing. Time. Put a time limit on your anger. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Satan. You have been listening to a sermon from New Faith Baptist Church in Madison, Illinois, where Reverend Dr. Trunell D. Felder is the pastor with Reverend Dr. Alexis F. Felder. If you would like to visit New Faith, we have Tuesday night prayer at 7.30 p.m. Wednesday night Bible study at 7.30 p.m. Saturday service at 5 p.m. and Sunday services at 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. New Faith Baptist Church International is located at 25 South Central Avenue, Madison, Illinois, 60443. For more information about New Faith Baptist Church, please visit their website at www.newfaith.org or call them at 708-720-1311. Welcome back to the Let's Stay Together talk show. Your next stop, the McCain train. Now here is the Let's Stay Together show with Reverend Ricardo McCain and author Brenda McCain, helping you to rebuild your relationships with God. Hey, welcome back to the Let's Stay Together show. Hey, I hope you enjoyed... Uh, that little sermonette by uh, New Faith Baptist Church International. We're trying to do some things, some spiritual things here uh, on the Let's Stay Together show because we're all about lifting up the name of Jesus. We do things here. It was a little bit taboo from the church. We talk about things that may not be talked about at the church, but we're still church-based. We're still religious-based uh, group because that's why we say to know our glory. You've got to know our backstory. We've had some backstories in our life that uh, that have shattered some people, but thanks be to God We'll still make it on. So, baby, we're going to start off with something you got over there. What you got for me? Let's go with, get this mic here. Let's go with, um, can hearsay break up your relationship? Yeah. And before we do that real quick, uh, it, about at 8.05, David uh, Steele should be calling in. So we need to look for that as well. But David will be joining us. I'm going to have a man join it. This is a man. Right. We gonna have a man. A man. A man. Oh, we gonna have a man call it as well. But baby, you say that question again. I'm sorry. Can hearsay break up your relationship? Absolutely. I've seen it done a time or two, you know, and you would think that that would be, you know, high school stuff, but I've seen it on into adulthood. That's why it's so important that in your relationship, you have to be confident in knowing the other person there. You have to know their behaviors and things that they will do and won't do. And now, again, can someone, you know, anyone are capable of some things? Absolutely. But for the most part, you're willing to bet your bottom dollar, this person's not going to do that, that, oh, I saw your man with Sally Sue or, you know, Shaquita down the street, and you better go get him, you know, and nine times out of ten, they just trying to get what you got. Hello. I'm just saying. And she said it right. Talaya, you have a tag along on that I absolutely agree. You have to be careful of allowing other people to dip in your relationship. There are some people who love you and truly mean you well, 
and may say, if they see a red flag that you didn't see, 